Hi, my kings and my queens. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm going to be doing a current energy reading for you, Leo. All right, so your reading is very interesting. I do feel like what I'm getting from your reading is there's a very strong crush in the energy, okay? Two people are very are crushing very hard on each other, okay? And it feels like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get into the reading, okay? So I did pull Oracle. We have Hand of Cards. It says, take a, take a chance, take a risk, being strategic, having options, not showing hand, and gambling, okay? So you could have quite a bit of options right now. This doesn't have to just be in love. This could be like when it comes to your career or just even if you have a big decision to make um, in life, you have a certain way, a certain way that you can go about things. Maybe you're about to move and you have a roommate. I'm just making up something right now. Maybe you're about to move. You have a roommate. You could either, you know, renew your lease. You could go find a new place with your roommate. Maybe you guys could get a townhome this time. Maybe you can go live by yourself. Maybe you can go live with family. So there's like so many things that you could do. Maybe everybody's watching to see what you'll do, but you're not really telling anyone anything as of now. You're kind of just being very strategic about it because you you don't even know what you want to do yet, you know? So it's like, it's not smart to just start feeding into one thing before you know what's going to be the best for you. So it's kind of just being smart, being logical, not putting your emotions too much into something also learning from past lessons. So if you went through something before, I already know how that plays out. I have that wisdom now. So now I'm going to go about this situation that's similar in a different way where I'm not going to speak too fast. I'm not going to speak up. You know, I'm not going to say too much. I'm just going to kind of let things play out and I'm going to see what path opens up for me and ends up being the most beneficial and fulfilling. All right. And I think that's a good thing for you to do because it's coming from like a full circle moment or it's coming from like a place of I've been here before. So I know what to do this time and just using your intuition and just trying not to fall flat on your face or just not make the wrong decision again. All right. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the death card. So this is this is energy of something ending, um, maybe something ended for you in your past that has transformed you completely. It changed the way that you think about things. It changes the way that you move, how you act, um, how you treat new situations. This could also be concerning someone in your energy that is um, a big part of this decision that you're making. Maybe something ended recently for this person, okay? So death card is coming up. That is Scorpio energy. All right. So the first card coming out for you is a strength card. I do like this card a lot for you. This does speak, Leo, that you are doing really good at discernment. You have really good discernment when it comes to temptation and things that are not good for you or things that just seem too good to be true. I do feel like you are exerting strength in like the little things, like just changing your habits towards becoming the person that you want to be. And this could also be like um, just being more disciplined in your every day to day to get a practical sense of your routine. So if you're, I really was getting for you, Leo, um, saving or budgeting or financial planning. I really feel like that would be a great side hustle for you if that's not already your career. Because I don't know what it is about Leo's right now, but I feel like your financial planning or budgeting is like top tier. It's not like just a hobby. It's becoming something that you could do for a career or to make some money to help others, to inspire others, motivate others. And it's also very crucial in your future because Obviously, you have some big stability in your future, you know, that you're walking into based off of your discipline right now. So I do commend you on that, but I do feel like there's a lot of discipline in your finances, but also maybe like in your habits, what you eat, what time you're waking up, when you choose to work out, um, what you choose to digest, like social media, what you choose to watch, maybe with your spiritual practices or religious practices in your career, in your friendships, in your relationship, 
relationships, family relationships, things like that. So there's a lot of strength coming from you. There's also this energy of you holding back from something you feel very strongly about. And for me, I do feel like some of you guys do have strong romantic feelings for someone that you are holding back from showing, okay? And this could be your hand of cards where you're like, I do really like this person, but there are other options. There are other people who are showing me, you know, um, interest. So I'm not going to make them the end all be all. I'm just going to see how this goes, okay? So I do see that with the strength. I also feel like someone is doing that with you. So you guys are kind of mirroring each other in that way. What's the strength card here? What's the strength card? Yeah, page of swords, okay? So you are really investigating all options here. Or the thing that you are, the person that you are feeling very strongly towards, you could be investigating them a little bit more. Maybe you're looking them up on social media. Maybe you're seeing how they interact with their friends or with other people, trying to see if there's another person in the picture, or you're just really paying attention closely, whereas you normally wouldn't. Okay, so I just see you just investigating and analyzing quite a lot. And it is coming from a more logical standpoint and not emotional because you're really just trying to stay balanced here. But again, this is in all aspects of life. I feel like you're in a very peaceful energy. You're not stressed because you do the things beforehand before they get out of control. And that's just you staying disciplined. But also with a certain someone, I do see you really... Um, getting a little bit more information about this person, just so that you keep your feet on the ground. You're like, oh, I don't want to put my head in the clouds. I don't want to, you know, fall too quickly. I just want to see what I'm getting myself into. Let's see what else. Six of cups. Okay. So something about this person is very familiar to you. Again, this also feels like a full circle moment. Something is very familiar, like a a way that this is happening, or you've been here before, or you've done this before. Maybe this is someone that you've dated before. If it's not, something's just very familiar about this situation with the Six of Cups. And it feels very promising, King of Cups. But at the same time, it's like, well, last time it felt promising. It didn't end too well. So let me just, you know, keep my feet planted on the ground. Let me stay balanced in my temperance energy. All right. So for my feminines, I do feel like you are very open to this. You have caught feelings with the queen of cups and you're, you're liking where this is going. It is emotionally fulfilling for you so far. Let's see. Queen of cups. There's also a very strong healed energy coming from my feminines. Like you've done a lot of healing and you're really open to love. You're open to friendship and nurturing connections. You're in a really good space here. Yep. Ace of cups. You're open to accepting and receiving the best that love has to offer and friendship has to offer. And also you're in a good place to giving that back. You know, you're not guarded. You're not cold. You're not detached. You're like in a really good spot as far as friendship. And when love comes in with the sun, you're in a very positive place in your life and you're just open. You know, you're not really, you're not um, rejecting love and you're also not moving too fast. You're just accepting what comes in. Queen of Pentacles, you're also very stable. You're in a very stable position to maintain these um, new experiences coming in as well. So you have your own. You're doing good in business or in career. You feel very stable in your finances. You um, feel very stable in your home life. And so all of this makes for a really good lover. You know, you would be like the perfect match for someone coming in. Definitely. This is very attractive for you coming in. Hmm. You do have the hangman. So this is highlighting maybe some of your, um, you do have some stubborn qualities about you. Okay. With the hangman, I feel like it's hard for you to, um, because you are such a leader, it's hard for you to be like follower. So you don't follow certain trends. You may, you may not dress like the other girls or the other guys. You may not get into the certain, you know, traits or qualities of other girls, other guys. That's just not your MO you're a leader. So I feel like you do tend to think about that quite a lot. Like I'm not like everybody else. So does that put me aside? Does that make me a good 
option, but I don't, I feel like that sets you apart. I feel like that makes you one of a kind. So even if it's not in love that we're speaking of, if that's like in your career, I definitely feel like that sets you apart. Or even in friendships, I feel like that definitely sets you apart. Like nobody just wants a um, carbon copy. <laughs> Sorry to those other girls, other guys, okay? All right, and then we do have a king of wands here. There is a masculine here who is on the hunt and on a prowl for you, very much a chaser-like energy, or this is you, Leo, very much like a chaser towards this queen of cups, could be a Scorpio, um, Cancer, or Pisces feminine. Let's see what that's about. It feels like a very hot and heavy, like, um, beginning of a friendship or a relationship. Sorry, a connection. It feels like a very hot and heavy connection. It feels like Someone's keeping up the communication. Feels like there's a lot of attraction initially. Good communication. Um, lots of time spent together. Lots of bonding. Someone's saying all the right things. Lots of interest in each other. Things could be. It seems like things can move really fast. Feels like you guys are both committed people in all aspects. Committed towards family. Committed maybe to spirituality or religion. Committed to work. Okay committed to higher education. Maybe both of you guys have a degree, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it feels good. It feels very, very like promising. This seems like the type of energy it's so easy to get sucked up in, you know? So I see where your, um, it's, you don't have fears, but I see where your discernment is coming in to just kind of stay grounded here. All right, I do see whoever this masculine is, they do have a lot of options, seven of cups. So they do have a lot of options on their hand. They could be dating around um, and they do attract quite a bit. We have Scorpio energy with that seven of cups, okay? But this feminine as well gets a lot of options as well. They may not be entertaining these options, but they do get a lot of options as well. They are a high ticket item. So it's a very interesting dynamic between these two people and it seems very strong. It's a strong crush. It's a strong connection, like beginning connection between you and them. Now, this is what stumps me. Why does this turn into the hermit energy between you two? What happens? What stops? That is what you've been trying to protect yourself from, Leo, with that strength card energy. You're like, okay, let me hold back because you never know what's going to happen. It's like it's getting very hot and heavy. And then the hermit someone just goes MIA. Someone just stops speaking, stops communicating after a lot of communication. It seems very bizarre. This is Virgo energy. What's the hermit? The fool. Okay. Aquarius energy here in the high priestess. Hmm. What else? Eight of cups as well. I definitely feel like there is whoever this person is that's going MIA or hermit, they are in the process of moving forward. They could be relocating or moving, transitioning out of somewhere. They are starting a new, they are starting a new um, transition as being single, but I feel like that's just recently. So if you think about that, you know, even when you met this person, Leo, they could have been single, but it could have been just recently. So if you think about that, there's a lot of emotional baggage. And I feel like this person is in the process of dropping that weight, eight of cups, you know, eight of cups is being emotionally detached. So it's emotionally detaching from what has ended, but it's also kind of coming off very emotionally detached towards new as well. until I find my place, the fool is kind of trying to search and find my place in this new lifestyle of being single and just being super independent. So this person is now finding new found independence they're also emotionally detaching from what they were in in the past. That's also going to be hard to foster a new connection that could be making them feel like, you know, it's a, it's a transition. So it's like if I'm trying to find independence and then I'm walking into a new connection I'm feeling so strongly about, it's a confliction here. Now, the problem is the hermit, you know, that's like no communication. That's just kind of distancing and isolating oneself. So that's kind of where the problem comes to hand. Six of wands is here. Interesting. 
It's like someone left off on a good energy too. Nothing bad happened. Someone left off when they were being put up on a pedestal by the other person. Like someone was like, yes, this person is it. This person is great. They treat me well. I think they're the one. I can't wait for you guys to meet meet them. And then, you know, the next week, this person just stops communicating. So that's like a big issue because it's like, damn, when you left, I was speaking so highly of you. Six of Wands, I put you on a pedestal. Your reputation was so good in my book. And then I just stopped hearing from you. So it's a little bit much. It's kind of like a slap in the face almost, you know? But it's almost, it's also too where it's like, well, nothing was said. So we can't really come to a conclusion here. Hmm. How does this person feel about Leo? How does this person honestly feel about Leo? How does this person honestly feel about Leo? All right, we have the tower. So I do feel like this person was not expecting to meet you when they did meet you. You came as a shock or a surprise to them. You completely blew them away with the tower, okay? Also to justice, this person wanted to treat you fairly because they feel like you, I don't know, something like this person just didn't want to do you dirty with the justice, right? So they just wanted to treat you fairly, not come in and play you or do wrong by you. Um, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So this person feels like you are a very dedicated person towards anything that you do, towards your work, your family, your friends, and even in relationships. You are someone who does value commitment and dedication. You're reliable. You're dependable. This person feels the Ace of Wands about you. So super attracted to you physically, sexually, very excited energy about you, very thrilling energy about you. Um, also very passionate about you when they met you. So all about you, just as you were about them. Also the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles definitely felt like you could make a wife or a husband, you know, or someone that they could see themselves being completely committed to, you know, someone who could be the mother of their children, the father of their children, someone who could be their wife, their husband again. Um, and someone who they feel like is going to reach big heights when it comes to their stability and their career. So this person thinks very highly of you and they're very passionate about you from when they first met you and you guys, you know, hung out or when you guys spoke first had that conversation that Ace of Wands gives that they were very passionate and ready to take a risk with you. That risk could have been maybe jumping into things with you right after they just got out of a situation. But ultimately with the justice, I feel like this person also feels like they want to be fair with you. So I don't know. There could be some. Let's see. Why did this person ultimately decide to go hermit? Why is this person currently not speaking or in no communication with Leo? Or why is this going to happen if it hasn't already happened? All right, we have the chariot. So the chariot is all about um, being driven, motivated, successful. Um, even when obstacles come in your way, you can still move past them. It's also the energy of moving forward in life. So maybe this person really wants to find success and moving on from whatever they had to end. And that could be their number one priority right now. Um, we also have the Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands is the energy of acting impulsively. This person could feel like maybe trying to pursue you and take things to a serious route with you if that's where you guys were headed. Um, that would be acting carelessly or impulsively because they just ended something and they maybe need to take some time to just focus on self and heal. We do have the King of Pentacles here. I do feel like this person knows that with you, Leo, you're not the type that they would just play games with. They would need to get serious pretty quickly. And maybe they didn't feel like they could live up to that at that time, at this time. We also have the moon. So there are some insecurities here from whatever ended for this person. If this ending was a relationship, there's insecurities from that. 
If this ending was like with family, there's insecurities from that. If this ending was like from their career, maybe there's insecurities with finances or stability. So there's some kind of insecurities here that this person that makes this person really sad and it doesn't make them it doesn't allow them to follow their intuition. So if they were intuitively led towards you, if fate brought you guys together, if this was like a destined moment, um, they're not trusting that process. They could be feeling like, you know, this was just a by chance energy and they need to kind of recuperate before they pursue someone like Leo. OK, so that's what I'm getting. What's the outcome? I know you guys want to know the outcome. Like, will they will they come back around? Will there be a turnaround? Will this person come out of hermit mode? Yes or no? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. So there is communication coming from this person. It's going to be very blunt and direct. So I do feel like you guys will speak again. And I'm also seeing the Nine of Cups, which is like the have it your way card. So however you want this to go, Leo, is how this will go for you. You know, you kind of have your way. You have your hand at this basically because of how you play this. You know, that was that was your Oracle card starting this reading. You know, the way that you played this by just, even if you were feeling so falling, so um, head over heels for this person, you never showed that. And I think that was your advantage, just keeping it real with you. And also the high priestess is here, which is kind of like, you are very strong in your discernment. You're very strong in your intuition and your intuition could be telling you this is gonna work out in your favor. Um, high priestess is also an energy of just not, not, um, playing easy, playing hard, playing hard to get, playing hard, not playing easy, letting this person figure it out and navigate it and they'll make their way back to you. Okay. Not making it too easy for them. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to get your last words. Very strong connection, which kind of sucks that like, if it does go into new co no communication, that does suck, but it's such a strong connection. It's so much attraction too. Like you don't get that much <laughs> where you could be so physically attracted to someone and then also um, like communication is really attractive. Like just what you guys speak about, your interest and even hanging out is good too, you know? It's like a crush energy, which is just such a fun energy to be in. All right, last words for my Leos. Last words for my Leos dealing with this situation. I always say this, so I, hopefully you guys don't get tired of me saying this, but whenever you see the Six of Swords come out, whether it's like for you or for the person that you're interested in, it's never a good time to pursue a serious relationship unless you're just a strong type of person, which obviously you are because the Strength card came out. And the only reason I say that is because um, that Six of Swords is an energy when someone is learning and they're growing and they're evolving into a much, much better place. And that's such a beautiful journey, but also they're prone to making mistakes. So in that time, when they're making those mistakes, whoever is around is, you know, they're more, um, you know, you're at casualty. So at that point, you have to decide if you're willing to go through that with this person just to see them out on a better end, or if you can take a step back and just meet them at the end, you know? So it's just really based on what, how you feel and how you feel like, if you feel like you can go through that with this person. All right, we have cancer. So a cancer could be coming towards you. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have miserable without you. Oh, geez. Okay. What else? We have, I'm too good to you slash for you. We have, I'm pregnant, surprise. Traveling soon. Controlling. Sexy haircut slash hairstyle. 
Love that hair. Let's see what else do we have here. You left something behind. So unfinished business between you and this person. They'll definitely be back. I'm single. Under the bed. Okay, something could be under your bed or under their bed of yours. Um, fake persona. Okay. So this is also equating to like when you're dating someone and everything seems so good and then maybe things fall off and you can't even pinpoint when things fell off. You're like, everything was so good. I don't even know why we stopped speaking, you know, but then you have to really like think outside the box and say, okay, maybe everything wasn't good. Maybe this person was just faking a smile, but really they were struggling. Or maybe this person was fake being nice, but maybe they're a mean person, you know? So you just have to really, sometimes it's hard to really like see the reality sometimes because we just can't believe it, but it is what it is. We have two independent. That could be this person. They're just really trying to be this independent person, do everything alone, just not trying to include anyone, just do it all alone, which, you know, maybe that's their journey. Happy birthday is coming out. We have plotting against you. Maybe you might spend this person's birthday with them, okay? We have damn you fine. We have tired of the drama and manipulator. Mm, interesting cards coming out. We do have some dangerous cards coming out for your person. Not dangerous like, oh, you know, be scared, but like dangerous like, you know, maybe you don't really know this person's struggles that they need to heal to be able to be this great person that they present themselves to. Because there's always two sides. So there is this person's great side that they present to you that you fell in love with, Leo. But there's also the side that they're desperately trying to detach from. They don't want to be that person anymore that they had to transform out of and they're still struggling to to release, you know, and they probably didn't want to show you that real side of them. So they had to kind of flee, you know? All right. I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.